All right, guys, we're back working on the Sun Vault system. I made a little update to the video. There was a particular thing that was giving me some OCD. Uh, so I've re-uploaded it. If you watched the video earlier, I'll leave a little link in the description so you could skip to the section where I updated it. And then if you haven't seen the video, carry on. But it's got a new location. Um, I did actually, it comes with a bracket, a wall bracket, and I did put it on, but it's not actually hanging on my wall. It's uh, all the weight is actually on the ground. The bracket is just there to secure it, to keep it from tilting. If it was going to do that at all, I don't know, I'm not sure, but I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't gonna tilt over. So let's open her up. What I'm working on right now is I've put this plate in. So I've drilled some holes here into this piece and put some screws in and then just one down here at the bottom. Um, that plate, I'm going to mount a charge controller and some breakers and maybe some other stuff, probably a DIN rail on here. All right, there we go, guys. There's the plate with our charge controller and a breaker, a DIN rail for extra stuff. And that's what we're gonna put back into the Sun Vault to get some solar into it. Now, this is probably kind of a small charge controller to be putting in there. Obviously, you can put a bigger one in there. Um, I might end up putting a second 15035 because I've got multiple arrays that I can plug into this. So I could, so I can have one array that faces a particular direction, uh, and then another one that faces another direction. So I've got several different arrays that could benefit from just having multiple charge controllers. So I'm probably end up picking up another one of these and putting in there as well. All right, here we go. We got the panel with the controller installed into the Sun Vault. It's wired up, it's powered up. I don't have any solar plugged in just yet. Um, first, let's make sure things are configured properly. So I'm logged into the gateway right here. 
and then this is telling me the specs on the battery uh, what we're looking for here is the maximum charge voltage so it says 56.8 uh, so these batteries want to be charged to a maximum of 56.8. So let's go into the Victron app and we'll connect to the 15035. Let's check out the battery settings. Okay, and we already are set at 56.8 so we are good it'll float at 54 yeah so those should work yeah so let's go ahead and hook up some solar all right so I've got some temporary solar hooked up so we can test uh, there's four panels right there but I'm only using three in series because four in series would put us over the 150 volt limit of this controller. So let's go ahead and plug it in. There we go. Solar's plugged in. Let's we'll see if we get anything going on. I think we are charging. Let's look at the app. Yep, here we go. We are charging with 968 watts. Right on. Let me see if I can pull up the Schneider Gateway. All right, and the Schneider Gateway is showing the batteries saying they are charging at 18 amps. Uh, let's see if there's anything else we can see here. Yeah, just showing 18 amps. That's showing the state is charging. Our current state of charge is 55%. All right, very nice. <laughs> All right, guys, so here's the part where I updated the video and I'm gonna show you what was driving me crazy. Uh, as you can see, I've moved the controller over. It was right here. And the part that was driving me nuts <laughs> was it was cluttered around all these wires. So I had wires on the side here and then these uh, wires were above it there I mean there was like an inch I guess maybe more uh, where these wires were spaced off but uh, it just felt I don't know it just felt like super cluttered to me and uh, my OCD was just going off so I moved it over here obviously you can tell and I like that location better all right so that's it continue on you know, it's a very nice self-contained metal box. You got your batteries, you got your inverter. Now we've got our solar charger in there. All right, guys, I think that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I'll leave links in the description. Let me know what you think about this system down in the comments, and I'll catch you on the next one.